Hey everybody, it's Roberto here. Uh, <laughs> well, it's it's been an interesting of of day two of thirty days of Finch, and it, you're looking here at the at the big account, um, and and I want to share with you a little a little bit about what's going on. So we made a hundred and eighty dollars in the last twenty four hours, essentially. Not not a bad, not bad, not great either, though. Uh, not happy with that level. A honeymoon account, when it's fresh, should come out of the gate and make, in an account this size, more than that amount of money. And uh, so I'm going to walk you through everything. There's a lot of stuff to talk about on day two here, and I want to get through all of it, and I'm going to take some notes as we go. So get ready for a little bit of a longer video. I hope that's all right with you. And here we are on part two. So, as you know from part one, we're running Dr. Bill Finch, which uses the one-minute charts, and it uses reversal arrows, and it uses the ADX to filter out trades. We lowered the profit target to um, 60 cents per micro lot traded. So, uh, we have one mini lot traded, so the target is $6 on trade one and $6 on trade two. Now let's look at the account. Now the big account is down $860 right out of the gate. It's closed a bunch of trades. However, these trades, these trades are small wins. And they're so small that they're not necessarily making up for the drawdown. This is a problem. Now that's number one. That's, that's a problem, but I'm, I'm going to identify a couple of really good things. And you know what I'm going to do? Well, let me just tell you what, I'll just give you the answer, and then we'll go look at it. The, the, the asterisk on this point, that there's small wins not making up for the drawdown, is that the system doesn't lock up long term. This system doesn't margin call. This system has a really great chance of success long term, and it doesn't get locked up. And these trades come back reasonably well. In fact, really well. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If we look at the Euro Canadian, I got into a trade on the Euro Canadian. It's a buy trade. And I got, I got into the trade up here in this area. Insert shape, rectangle, right in here. That's a buy trade. And then price began to drop. Now, price dropped pretty far, but it did not open a second trade yet. Why? Because the ADX was showing that the trend strength was strong. That's really important. We don't want to take another trade. We got another reversal arrow upward, but the trend strength was still strong on the ADX. I could show the ADX on the screen. In fact, I probably should. I'll pause and I'll pull that up. Okay, we're back. Now, if you look at the ADX on the screen here, when the arrow points up, the ADX is above the 20 mark. It can't take this trade. The trend is too strong. The, the, the downward trend is strong. The ADX is up, and it, it measures the strength of the predominant trend. We get another arrow, and, and, and yet again, at the time this arrow is produced, uh, remember that um, not all we're, we're looking at these levels right here. The ADX is still too strong. We scroll forward. The ADX is still too strong. Scroll forward, the ADX is still too strong. Scroll forward, and the ADX is finally all the lines that matter. These two right here are below 20. And so we can take that extra buy trade. So it's waited a long time to take this buy trade. Now, I don't like being stuck in bad trades. I don't like being caught in bad trades. No one does. Let's say, for instance, that the Finch were trading with divergences. We would have a buy trade right here. We would fall and not get a second trade yet because it hasn't fallen 70. And then we would have gone through a string of, of bad trades, second trades if they were able to be taken. But we didn't take any of those trades because we're not trading the regular Finch. In other words, regular Finch would have been caught in this same style or set of trades and would have 
a reasonably similar loss. In other words, Finch would not necessarily do any better or worse than what we're doing right now. So, because this system doesn't lock up long term, I'm going to keep everything just the way it is. Now, adjustments. What adjustments might I make? I may raise the profit target on these trades so that I can make more money per win. I may raise the profit target on trade two. What I might do is say that trade one is going for $6, but trade two is going for 12. I might say that. Then if I do get stuck in two trades, I might make more money from that. Now, I'm not making that change now. I canceled before that change was made. I'm down 1%. That's less than 1%. It's, not, it's, it's like 0.7%. I don't like being stuck in bad trades. I don't like the fact that right now I'm sitting on these trades right here. It doesn't please me. And so immediately what I want to get into is a conversation about how I might deal with this. Before we get into that conversation, I want to notice over here in the $10,000 account, we're down $67, so not yet 1% even. We have similar bad trades on similar currency pairs, two trades open in some cases, and I'm um, just waiting, waiting for some, <laughs> waiting for some good news, you know, <laughs> like just waiting for waiting on a friend as Mick Jagger would say. Let's take a look at the longer term charts. I might see them right here. Let's see what we got going on. I want to pull up a 1 hour chart of the Euro Canadian. Ah, 4 hours good. Now look at look at what's happening here on the 4 hour chart. We've got a trend line broken a couple of different times. Price is headed toward this old monthly pivot. Last month's pivot, it wants to get there. It wants to get at least halfway the distance there. And it's done that. The next level we might look at is right down here, just barely lower than where we are right now. That might be a place where we can find some sweet relief from this drop. But I want to say for the record, we've got two monthly missed pivots, a weekly missed pivot. This doesn't look great. I mean, we're trading a system that doesn't ask for very much, and sometimes it doesn't even get that. So what do we do? Do we give up on this immediately? Do we panic? Do we r run crying <laughs> to our parents? <laughs> no. No, we don't. Straight up, here's what we do. We make a plan, and we stick to the plan. Right now, the plan is let it drop a little bit further and, and let it do its thing. On the one hour chart, we're dropping really close to this old level of support and this might be a nice place for it to bounce. That's about 20 pips lower than where we are right now. I may very quickly get into another trade here on a one hour chart if we print some, uh, some kind of, of bounce off of that level. I may like that. It doesn't need to move very high in order for all of this to be closed out and back to normal. This is trade this is like project number 1. It's the most important trade related project that I'm in right now. One last uh, set of thoughts here after all is said and done. Right now as I'm talking, here's what's happening. Stock market is getting crushed. The month of March is historically not great for Finch or short-term reversal trades. This is same time last year as when things got a little bit difficult for us. So you are going to watch a wild ride. Looks like we've already started on that wild ride and you're about to see it. So settle in. You can see how I deal with all of these problems. If I decide to throw up my hands and say, this experiment didn't work and we're going to go back to the regular Finch or anything, I'm letting you watch this in real time. I'm not going to hide anything from you at all. You're going to watch me do this as an experiment. If you are running 
a similar experiment. If you are trading a honeymoon style trading account, we have some really great news for you. A honeymoon Finch that does all of this, opens trades, closes everything when equity has gone positive, is almost ready for you. So you could have a robot that takes care of it. Number two, if you're doing it for the first time, watch the first set of 30 days videos that's in your robots course. If you are somehow watching this and you are not a member, get the robots, get <laughs> the membership. And there should be a link below for you to watch a presentation and sign up for more information. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow.